Okay, so I'm about to move on to the painting stage of the project. What we're going to do first is a bit of prep work. You'll see us going around, taping up some of the windows. We'll also be filling some of the nail holes and uh, doing a little bit of sanding, a little bit of gap filling here and there, and then we can start our first coat of paint. Um, what you're going to need for this stage is basically your paint. I've got the various ranges here from Taubman's. I've got um, some of the external padding. I've also got some of the timber work, and I've got some other uh, trim colour as well too. I've got the big uh, spray gun from Wagner. I'm going to be using this for the bulk of all the walls, getting into the cladding. It's going to be easier to spray than trying to roll it. Um, what I've also got is a little fine sprayer uh, from Wagner as well. That'll be handy for some of the tight little spots that we need to get into. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so we're getting some prep work ready to do for the painting now. Uh, Tyrone's just putting some of this uh, tape around the windows. We're going to cover them up with plastic and then we're going to try out the spray gun. Do that right up the side here, protect what we can, and then we'll get painting. Okay, so for all our external painting, we're going to be using the Torment Endure. Uh, the good thing about this paint, it's got the nanoguard protection in it, which means it's made up of smaller and larger particles. So, a good paint like this is uh, UV resistant, it's uh, dust resistant, so it's pretty durable on the outside. The other good thing that Torment's uh, offer is a lifetime guarantee with this. So if you're the owner of the house, as long as you've painted it, and it's been prepared and um, prepped properly, you've got a lifetime guarantee with this paint that won't blister or heal or anything like that. So it's a great product. We'll see how it goes on these uh, different surfaces we've got. We're going to be using on some cladding, we're going to be using on some brickwork, and on some uh, timber work as well too. So try it out and see how it goes. So we're finishing up the final stages of the prep work now. Everything's bulk and putty. We've done some cutting in. Now we're going to get the spray gun. We're going to go over and get these weather boards a bit of a go. This is the little airless spray gun with about 15 metres of hose and the spray gun attachment. The weather boards are a little bit tricky to paint with the roller, so this is going to come in perfect. And because we're over two storeys, we're going to be up and down in between the scaffold. So a long hose is going to make a little bit of a difference as well. down to our last coat of paint. I did two coats with the spray gun yesterday. I was blown away by how good this thing performs. Got the paint on in a, a pretty quick time and the coverage is uh, unbelievable. It's such a time saver. So I'm gonna go through now. Last coat should be pretty quick and then I'm gonna move on to the next level on the ground floor. Uh, the boys are down there at the moment now just prepping up so we're taking off some of the old pipe work off the wall that's redundant, doing a little bit of prep work and then we can give that a bit of a hit as well. The bricks down below being pretty old, they're gonna soak up a fair bit of paint so we'll have to go over that a couple of times and give it a couple of good coats. But alright, let's get into it. Alright, now this wall's been second coated, or probably even third coated. Um, applied it with the brush, with the uh, spray gun. It's gone on really well. Now what we're going to do is drop the deck that we're standing on down to the next level and then I can get on the ground floor and get that all first coated. Okay, so what you're going to see on this uh, side wall here is we're going to spray it up but we're not going to be too particular about the finish only because this side brick wall is actually going to be knocked down in stage two and pulled out to the boundary and then at the back of the house we're actually going to have full width sliding glass doors out onto a balcony and a terrace below. So a lot of work still to happen in stage two 
before we get the back of the house and the side of the house all finished up. What we do for a bit of protection now is just drop some drop sheets down over the edges here, just so that when I spray, there's not going to be any overspray going on the neighbours or the roof or anything like that. Alright, now seeing this uh, is a combined space, and I've covered it all up, there's going to be spray going everywhere. So, it's time for the good old glow wrap. I don't want this camera ruined by my other one. moved on to the front of painting up this front patio. Now what I've decided to do is I'm going to paint these rafters wall plate and beam first and then I'm going to go and paint the actual V-jointed lining boards that go on top as well. If I pre-prime them and paint them up prior to putting them on, I can actually just nail them into position without having to worry about getting under here later and painting it at a later date. So first thing we're going to do is uh, sand this pre-prime timber up. Even though it comes pre-prime, it's always good to give it a light sand prior to painting just to make sure that the paint's going to adhere. And the reason we do that is that this has been left on the construction site for two or three months or out the timber yard, it can get grease and dirt and oil and stuff on it, which could affect the paint. So we're just going to start by giving this a bit of a light sand. Okay, so that's first coated. The black's very sticky, so it's uh, come up quite gluggy and there's a lot of run marks through the paint. So uh, what I'm going to have to do tomorrow is give that a really good sand just to sort of get it back nice and smooth. And hopefully the second coat, and third coat, will bring it up a lot, um, a lot smoother. But yeah, it's a really, really hard paint to work with that black. But it should turn out really smick. It's going to look nice. So I've got our couple of coats of paint on this now. What I'm going to do is take our lining boards, pre-prime these as well too. So I've painted uh, two coats over these. I've got them all stacked up there. What you're going to do is lay down over the top of this roof, and they're going to act as the lining. So I'll run those up the top, then I'll put our roof battens on, and then we put our roof sheets over the top of that. I right, should finish it off. So from underneath, you're going to see the lining boards, all pre-painted, all pre-finished. Okay guys, that's our external painting completed. What you're going to see in the next video coming up will be our scaffold being removed and dismantled. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have, give it a thumbs up, like or subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Cheers guys.